Surah Taqwa, Allah helps us to breathe better. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone and welcome to another reflection video. I believe that a lot of us are slowing down in terms of momentum. You know, we enter Ramadan with a lot of enthusiasm, with a lot of things that we want to do, that we want to change. You know? And the enthusiasm that we may have at the beginning of the journey may not necessarily be present anymore with us at this particular moment. So this is exactly the best time or the best point for us to take a step back Try to reflect because, you know, human beings, we are all reward driven. We want to know what we will get out of, you know, the hard work that we have put in. In many portions of the Quran, Allah SWT has shared with us, you know, the benefits for the people of Taqwa. And this has been demonstrated in a few verses in the Quran where, for example, Allah has mentioned, For the people who are Taqwa, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will provide them with a way out and it will provide them with sustenance, with risk, with blessings from means that they have never thought of before. You know, for some of us on this journey towards Allah, we might find ourselves you know, stuck in a rut. So narrow that we find it difficult for us to breathe. But Allah SWT says that if we are able to reach that state of taqwa, know that the experience of that is like as if you are able to breathe better at a wider space, at a zone where you are no longer constricted anymore. Through taqwa, Allah helps us to breathe better. Another part where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, min amrihi yusra. For the people who have taqwa, they are the people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make ease for their affairs will make ease for the things which are difficult for them and who does not want easing difficulty and that is the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the people of taqwa in a separate verse if I could share with you also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions for the people of taqwa Allah will not only bless them with additional multiple rewards but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will also forgive them for their sins the sins in which that they are able to forgive themselves for and the sins in which that they themselves struggle to forgive themselves for doing so. At this rate, when we are slowing down in momentum, when we are losing our motivation and inspiration, don't stop just because you are feeling that way. It is just a phase. Take a moment of rest if you need. Pick yourself back up. You know, find motivation, find means in which that it can help you to fuel you until you reach the end of, you know, this whole marathon of Ramadan. You know, we still have a lot of days with us and let us not waste each of these days that we have with Ramadan for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inshallah okay so I hope that today's reflection video has benefited you inshallah and I pray that may you continue to have a fulfilling Ramadan moving forward and I hope for you to join me in the next reflection video inshallah take care everyone and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh